What is going on boys and girls welcome back to ARK. This video will take place on the official servers of ARK as a solo player over a 30 day wipe. This is the season I just finished making videos on, edited into one long video. Hope you guys do enjoy, let's get into it. Alright boys, so if you do this, nobody loves you, okay? I don't know why people always do this. I'm a, I'm a couple hours late to the wipe, maybe like four hours late. I didn't really realize the server's wipe today, um, but it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But people always do this, like a couple hours in, they put spikes all around this four times note. But you can, you can sometimes figure out a way around it like I just did. Okay, we're getting our levels and we're going to head off of the island pretty quickly here. Alrighty boys, so we're headed over to Genesis 2, of course. Um, so the plan is, we're not really going to be here for very long. I, I think what I want to do, I have this season planned out pretty well, uh, I'll be honest. So I think the next step for us is to head over to Fjordor and get some Desmodus's the Bats. Pick me. Ouch. What do you pick me? Alright, got picked. Okay, level 85, that's pretty, that's like, oh, this is going pretty fast, actually. I might make it, I'm not sure. No, 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 oh, no, they traded me, so I think I'm going to die here, but I'll be, okay. it's fine. I'll just spawn back in and then I'll, I should be able to tame that level 85 just with like one or two blood packs. That one's so close. Okay, so we're back. Oh, whoa, dude, my body fell right down to me. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. So let's get one or two more blood packs and then we should have that level 85. Where'd it go? It's over here. I think it's this one. It's got the red wings. Okay, there we go, boys. Easy. All right, sick. That's actually working out really great. I was worried people would be over here. Sometimes there's a lot of people trying to tame bats, but for some reason this is kind of empty at the moment. So let's get this back over to our base and craft up a saddle. All right, boys, so we're back. Here's the other one we were taming. Someone here, someone's here. There's a bat here with a saddle. Not really sure. Oh, he's right there. He's he's like getting, he's taming a bat right now. I don't even know if I dare go over there. I'm gonna get picked off mine by a bat. There he is. He's got dropped. He didn't die. Maybe I'll just let those bats kill him. There's no way he doesn't die to them. Way up in the air. Oh, he's fallen. He's dead now. Yeah, he just died for sure. All right. Let's see what he has. Looked like he was in flak. Oh, perfect, dude. He's got a little flak set and a bunch of blood packs for us. Alrighty, boys. We uploaded our stuff. Now we're spawning over here on Genesis 2 once again. Um, I'm gonna try to get some Bloodstalkers, then we'll head off here. I don't really like to be on here for too long. The server is capped, and so it's really easy to, uh, lose your stuff. See if we can get it this time. It's right here. Oh, gosh. Someone's shooting me. This guy's cheating. Okay, dude. Already? Already? It's eight hours into the wipe, dude, and this guy's already spinning people's helmets off. Classic. All right, boys, so we're just gonna head back. Um, luckily, I didn't really have like too much on me. I just had like the set of Prim Flak and some blood packs. 
I'm thinking this guy might have just left them because they're not really that valuable. So I'm hoping he just like killed me for the fun of it and left. Uh, so let's see. We're almost to where I died at. So cancerous, dude. That's why I almost, I usually avoid Genesis 2 like early in the wipe just because this is where the aimbotters like always are. Did this guy die? This guy died, his bat's right here. He got picked off by those Bloodstalkers, I'm sure, and then just died. That's embarrassing, dude. Holy. Alright. I need these things to follow me. Let's see what this guy had. I think he's gonna have a juicy kit if he's a he's a cheater. Come on. Aggro on me, boys. Alright. Perfect. Come on. Get you away from those bags. Come on, come on. This guy's gonna be back soon, so I gotta hurry here. Alright, perfect. Oh my gosh, that was so far away. No way that thing grabbed me. Come on, come on, come on. This guy have... That's his bats bag. Nothing. Oh, he's got some juice. He's got some juice. Let's go. Uh... I should just leave. I was gonna try to get mine too, but I think I'm dead now. It's like lagging really bad. Let me out! Oh boys, I think I'm dead here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Just like smashing space park. Come on. I'm knocked. I'm knocked. Yeah, I'm knocked. Yeah, those scorpions did it. But am I okay? I think I'm gonna die here to the spider. It's coming after me. Alright boys, so we're back. First of all, I'm gonna grab my original kit. There's nothing even in there. And then, looks like my stuff's still over here. I'm not sure if this guy just didn't come back or he rage quit or what. Maybe he wanted to get like a pistol before he came back to grab his stuff, but... All my stuff's here. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out, 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 dude. We got some straight juice from that guy. I didn't even look at it very closely. Okay. Holy, dude. I gotta stay off this map for the first, like, five days, I swear. It's always gonna be capped. There's gonna be so many people cheating on it. So let's try to make it out of here alive, and we'll go to some different maps. Okay, we're at the sky border. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we got, um, pretty good. Uh, we got a comp bow, fabby, uh, a couple net guns, tech sword, simple pistol, some cakes, a shotgun, some, ooh, some kibble. Dude, this guy has, like, some straight juice on him. Alrighty, boys, so we are, uh, back on arc. So I am over here on Aberration, and before we start, I will not be building on Aberration for this season, so don't worry. I know a lot of people are kind of sick of it because I play here a lot. Um, we are actually going to be building on Extinction for this wipe, but I will be just putting a little starter base here for the first couple days to kind of get things prepped, and we need to do this boss before we can start the rest of the season. But I have a base spot in mind, if I can even find it. I'm having a hard time finding it. That's how hidden it is here. Here it is. Finally, I found it. So I've actually never built this spot, never really seen it, but this is perfect for what I'm looking for. It's right up here in the roof, a little hole in the tree. So let's slap our first foundation down. I think right about there is where we're gonna want it, height-wise, and then all these other ones will snap. Okay, and then let's get a couple ceilings on. All right, perfect. That's actually a good start for like the first floor. We're gonna have to get some more structures before I can finish uh, finish the rest of this off. Okay, so this next part, um, we're gonna need to put some supports down, but this is actually gonna give us a lot of space. I know it might not look like too big, but we can probably have two floors here and enough for like a crafting station and a breeding station. Okay, so we're starting to get the makings of a uh, a starter base here. I'm trying to 
see where I want to put all these uh, forges. I think we'll just place some right here along the wall next to the smithy. And that will work out pretty good. Alright boys, so we're making some serious progress. I got the uh, that gunpowder from the Scorched Earth base. Brought some of it back and then we're starting to make some uh, some more progress here. I got a few blueprints from the surface, but I'm wanting to go raiding pretty soon, so I'm going to try to make some C4 here. Alright boys, so we got our Stego newly finished uh, today. Ready to be leveled. I was lucky enough to get a decent uh, saddle. Oh gosh, I got spored. I forgot there's spores here. Hopefully we get some aquatic mushrooms. We did, okay. All right. If you guys didn't know, if you if you can just kind of chill when you get spored, you just pick some aquatic mushrooms or you get spored. You can just usually get them pretty easy. So there's a, there's a note right here. Um, so we're gonna get this note, get us a few extra levels on this thing before we head over to Scorched Earth to raid that base. Like I said yesterday, if you can get like soakers in the first day, just tame a couple stegos, doesn't matter if they're great, and then like get an imprinted soaker the first day, you'll be chilling. So let's level this thing out. So pretty good, pretty good HP, about 20k, which is not bad, especially we're, we're like barely, if even a day into the wipe here. With a 70 armor saddle stego, almost 20k HP. So uh, what the, there's a guy. Some guys, some guys right here, dude. I didn't even notice. I was like, came to some random spot to try to heal this up. I don't think he's gonna mess with me, but it's like some guy. Oh, he has swamp fever. I don't want that. Stay away. Yeah, I don't want your, I don't want your sickness. But uh, this stego is gonna heal up momentarily and then we'll head over to scorched earth kind of see what we can get from uh the pillar base that i found Ouch. shoot almost died there dude i was trying to like line of sight these turrets but i don't think i'll be able to it's shooting me right off the right underneath it so we're just gonna keep soaking this out you can kind of see what I mean, dude. Like, look at this. This Stego's completely OP for this stage of the wipe. This guy's got, like, eight normal turrets on his base. Okay, boys, so let's pop in here. Okay, that should be... Where'd my C4 go? I'm just gonna pick it up, actually. What? Oh, these are large walls. They're large walls. I was, okay. Dang. That's not great. Let's take some flame arrows from this guy. Okay, these are actually going to take more C4 than I thought. We're just going to go in through the gate here. Alright, generator's still on. Let's see. I don't think there's any turrets inside of here. Turn this thing off. Come on. Okay, generator off. Let's take that gas out. I'm gonna be melting to death in here. As you can see, my health's draining because the metal it's so hot there's a few things a tech gate um wreck saddle some grapples but i am gonna wait a second we're gonna crowd mustego and then uh grab my bat just so we can be like ready to go if anybody wants to pull up on this raid we just did so let's uh head down to our bat here
So I'm hoping these guys have some stuff from uh, Genesis 2. Usually most people do, and it looks like these guys do already. They have like a, a tech gate, so... Okay, so let me see... I got some crystal. I'll actually take this whip, because I don't have one. Let's check in this vault. What do we got? Some hide, flint, spark. Gunpowder, decent amount of spark powder and gunpowder. Lots of gunpowder, actually. So we'll probably make that into uh, turret ammo right off the bat. That's like a, a good amount of uh, gunpowder. Okay, so we got the ammo crafting up. I need to die, dude. I'm gonna knock out here. I don't wanna knock out if some guy like spawns in or something. So we're gonna fly a little bit away and uh, die. Perfect. All right, so we got a lot of ammo out of this. We got a few other things. Um, we got hide. I'm just gonna leave the rest of the resources. Not really a reason for me to like take them, and I can't carry them anyway. So we got a wreck saddle, Quetzal saddle, um, good amount of ARB, some pace, some hide. So pretty good raid actually for this uh, this early in the wipe. Got a few other things: the glider, the the drill. Um, yeah, just kind of some random stuff besides the, the main stuff I put in the bat. Alright, and I need to download these other bats that I uploaded yesterday, or else they're going to expire. So let's get these out of upload really quick. Alright, perfect. Perfect. All right, so we got four bats, so that's kind of nice just for like scouting and stuff like that. We don't really run out of bats ever. These ones are all cool colors too because the event. All right, let me get the last saddle and we'll crowd this up and be on our way. Alrighty, boys, we're over here on Genesis 1. Doing this out of the frying pan mission. I've actually never done this mission in my entire life. Um, I've always just got shotguns like a different way. But I was having some trouble finding them this wipe. So I was like, I'll just go try it. So this mission's actually is pretty hard to do. I'll be honest. I didn't really know how to do it even. But uh, so you just like go around until this hand turns green. It's kind of hard for me to tell. I'm kind of colorblind. So it's like pretty hard for me to tell when it's actually green um, but I mean you like right right now it's green so I can I, I can still kind of tell so we got do we got one more all right this way just try to keep the hand green it's what you're supposed to do I think oh it's right here okay here's the last one give me some good stuff I only got one shotgun from that. It's not even good. I'm gonna have to run this again. Okay. Oh, we got hella shotguns, dude. Look at all those. Some decent ones, too. All right, that should be good enough for the Rockwell boss, um, which is really good news. Alrighty, boys. So we're just doing the final prep for the Rockwell boss. Got the rest of the nameless item, and we're good to go. I've been grinding a little hard on the shotgun ammo. We should be decent for this boss. This boss is kind of the only one I'm gonna do for this wipe, and it's the only one you really need, honestly, especially with Fjord Hawks. So this boss gives you the full tech suit and tech rifle, as well as the Rock Drake saddle engram. So you have like a tech dino, you have tech generator, tech trough, tech rifle, full tech suit. So it's like, this is kind of the only one you really need. Okay, let's head in here. Alright, so we got... I don't actually need that light pet. I don't want it even. Because it's gonna attract nameless. So let's start this boss, boys. Should 
Should be fine for this. Let's get smacked and we'll start it. Boom. Alright, that's fine. No worries. That's why I have a few sets of armor. Alrighty, boys. So over here on Extinction, I have just made it up here into this rat hole. Um, I'm pretty excited to build in here. I've seen a few different people build in here. And uh, it seems like a pretty decent spot, especially for Arcpocalypse. Um, so we're just going to be building this out over the next couple minutes here, if I can figure this out. Okay, so it actually looks like you can't place normal turrets right here. So I built this whole base in single player, and I had no problems. But I think that I'm going to have to get to level 100 and make heavy turrets before we set up uh, turrets up in this spot. But that's okay. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. Alright, so we're going to just build out the floor. I had to demo the earlier floor here. So it should work out pretty well. We're just going to have three floors in this base. Um, so we're going to have like the bottom floor just be like storage. Um, second floor is like a crafting. We're going to have the fabricator, the uh, spithy, the chem bench, and then the third floor will be for breeding dinos. Alright, so... I might fix the build for this later. We're just going to try to get some space, um, get all of our stuff transferred over from Aberration would probably be the main goal. So I might have to like mess around with these structures a little bit because you know it is kind of hard to fit stuff in here, but it should be okay. Alright, so we got a few of the items down here. So we got uh, the fabricator down, the generator down. I don't know if I really want this fridge here. It's kind of in a weird spot. But, uh, okay, so we're gonna get this generator down and throw a couple of turrets up. Right off the bat. We got the chem bench down as well. Alright, boys, so I came over here just to the wasteland. We need to hit level 100. I hit a couple of the notes. We got a two times note as well as a four times note going. And this is a pretty easy way to hit level 100. I mean, I could do something else, but I'm already on extinction. Okay, so... We're just, we're really close here. That's a level 90. That, that should be our last level. We should get to... Let me out of here. That should get us to level 100, boys, because that was 99. Level 100, let's go. That took me a lot longer than I would have liked. Alright boys, so we're back over on Ab. I need to transfer all of the good stuff. Now that I have a base set up over on Extinction. We're just taking all the blueprints. Um, anything of real value. We'll probably leave all the resources, but... Okay, so that is our last... Sheep. I'm gonna leave the one of the bloodstalkers here just in case and uh, I'll probably leave quite a few of the resources here. I'm not really gonna take them with me. We're just taking um, The blueprints and the dinos and we'll take a little bit of the ammo I'm gonna leave this base up just so I can have like a, a place to be on aberration if I want to be here All right boys, so we're spawning in over here on extinction. I'm gonna finish up the base momentarily so let's put everything away all the dinos okay and i'm hoping that this fixes our problem because that this was kind of a whack build and i think that having these heavy turrets should so let's see yeah yeah i can place these let me just Okay, so let's do just do two. Right there is the first one. And here is the second. These are actually a decent spot. They look right down into the crack. Um, where this spot is. Okay, boy. So I went over to Genesis 2. Punched a, a good amount of metal. We're spawning back in here. So I've built the crafting area out. So we have four or three normal forges, uh, fabricator, smithy, chem bench, in this pretty compact area. I'm a really big fan of like compact bases like this, which just might might have been something you guys noticed. I like small bases a lot. 
Um, everything's like easily accessible and I can defend it really easy. So we got a bunch of metal cooking up now and I was able to get a little bit of dust from uh, Genesis as well. So let's head down to the first floor. You can see I'm, I'm kind of making some progress here now. We got a, three of these mannequins, we got a fridge. We just need to organize things a little bit and this base will be looking very good. All right, boys, so I came over here to the city. I noticed that there was a desert titan and uh, there's no turrets or anything on it. There happened to be um, some dust at the terminal underneath it. I think somebody must have done some element veins or something, turning it into dust, and then they just left. So I was able to get a little bit of dust here. It looks like uh, maybe 20, 30 stacks of dust. Pretty good for uh, this stage, this early stage of the wipe. I'm pretty happy about that. Give us some uh, dust to be able to travel to other servers. I want to try to kill the Desert Titan, honestly. They might have stuff in it, so we're going to go try something real quick. Alright, we're leaving. This doesn't do anything. I need like a Giga or something to kill that. Alright, boys. So we're back in the base. I need to go do a few things outside of it. So we are going to go fly around. We need cementing paste um, to make more progress on the base and so uh, I'm just gonna fly around the sunken forest here get some of the beaver dams can this really not fit in here that's kind of crazy it's it's actually like a big area and I still can't fit this bat so I guess we'll have to go down okay so I need to get cementing paste and I need to put a bed at a terminal so we can like transfer off uh, pretty Fast and easy. Oh, who's this? Somebody's building. I raided this spot a couple times before. It's kind of interesting, actually. It's like in that those tree roots. Um. Yeah, I'll go. I just was gonna head over here to see if there's any more beaver dams. So let me, um, let me turn off the, uh, the view distance really quick. All right, so we're getting detected. These guys look like they have uh, some turrets in there, maybe. There he is. Okay, so we got, this is the guy, Will, this is his tribe. Oh gosh, there's turrets. Just gonna go for it, there's only a few. Guy right here, triple kill, baby. Let's get, uh, let's get these beds out of the way. Quad kill. Killtacular, let's go. I don't know if somebody was like spawning in there or they were just in the beds. Um, I'm sorry boys, I need to kill this guy's wyvern though. Because uh, he's gonna kill me with it if he comes back. So I'll, I'll leave all your other stuff, but I can't leave your wyvern. It's too dangerous. Okay, sorry my man. Had a tree platform in it. Okay. All right, let's go take a look around. There's a guy right there. Let's see if he has anything. This guy has like a full six. Oh, this isn't small tribes, I'm tripping actually. This guy can have as many people as he wants. This isn't small tribes, there's no tribe limit. Um, all right, let's see what we got here, boys. So put away a few things to make me lighter. Okay. Easy ammo. Some more ammo. What we got in here. Um, I gotta be careful here. I don't want to get like bullwood when I'm not looking. So paste. That's what we needed. Some electronics. Perfect. What we like to see. Everything else I'll just leave for these guys. 
I mean here a little bit of paste and electronics. That's kind of I, I need more to make more heavy turrets So paste and electronics is kind of the main thing. There's some nets. Those are pretty good. I Think these are all are these all pin coded. I'm gonna have to break all those. Oh This guy's back. He whistled stuff Is that a theory? Jeez that does some damage Kill them I think these guys like maybe have beds nearby, or maybe there's just a spawn nearby. There's a guy right here, I see him. He's trying to hide in the bushes. That's why I turned my render distance down so I can see him. Here, let me get some water before I keep going. I don't want to knock out. All right, let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Yo, my boys. Turrets, ammo. Boys, if you make turrets and ammo, put them down immediately. Don't put them up like that. If those guys had those, I probably couldn't have raided this. There's four more turrets and like a thousand ammo. And they have an indie forge and an incubator chem bench. Tons of stuff, a vault. Boys, these guys, dude. Uh, oh, oh, dude, uh, we got a capped gas bag saddle and a flamethrower. That gas bag saddle is big. We're heavy now. This is big, 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 boys. We uh, That gas bag saddle is exactly what I've been looking for. Because I needed a, a decent soaker. And I didn't want to use a stego. Boys, oof, we're heavy now. But uh, that was a, some big profit. I'm tempted to just leave, but... I want those uh, those metal structures that were in that box at the same time. I guess I'll just see if these guys are nearby. Maybe I'll have to uh, go grab those really quick. Alrighty boys, so we are over here on Fjordor. I was really about to transfer off here at the Red Ob, but uh, I noticed that there was some juicy looking rafts close by that look uh, pretty easy to raid. Hey. Um, so we're gonna throw down a raft, build a couple structures onto that, and uh, see what we can get here. Let's toss down our raft and get to building. All right, boys, let's head in here. So I've said this before, but if you are building a raft or like a motorboat base, don't ever, ever put it next to land like this. It's really a terrible idea. Ouch. Let's just get close enough to place our C4. If you place it next to land like this, then people can just C4 the land. Oh gosh. And get into it. All right, I think we're close enough now. Come on. There we go. So these guys these guys have two rafts, and I'm betting this stone one doesn't really have anything too great in it. Maybe just like a crafting raft. And then I, the metal one's probably where they have the good stuff. Just kind of how people do things, because you're kind of limited on space. You, you want to make two rafts, but all the good stuff's probably going to be in the other, the metal one. So let's see. Let's check. Alright, so let's run in here and get this generator down, perfect. Ooh, free Maywing, I'll take that. Um, yeah, not really a lot I'm seeing. There's a lot of hide, but I probably won't really take that. Uh, like I said before, I'm betting there's not really anything in here. It's just like kind of a storage raft slash, I don't know, starter raft. And then they used it to craft up the better metal one. But I guess we'll uh, unpower these turrets and everything. What about in here? Anything in the fab? Nothing in the preserving bin either. All right, we're just going to go. We're going to go over to the metal one. I didn't really think there'd be a lot in here. Alright, oof. 
looking at me. Let's get close enough to throw some C4 down. All right. One, two, three. Perfect. I need to get the ammo out of that the stone rafts turrets though before I leave. All right, let's see. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Okay. A lot of their smithies are in the wall. So in the fridge. Ooh, boys, there we go. Bunch of dinos, there's tons of blood packs. These guys don't really have like a ton on them. Alright boys, so we came back over to Extinction. I wanted to tame up just like one more good soaker. So we got that gas bag saddle in the last episode. The uh, 124 armor, really good saddle. And so I thought we might as well came up a gas bag and I happened to knock one out that's crazy good. <clears throat> Sorry. So, let me show you guys here. It's a uh, it's pretty cool color. It's like an event color and it's 4K. Pretty good. Uh I'm hoping it gets a decent roll when it finishes taming out, but that's pretty good HP from what I've I've seen before on taming a gas bag. And I'm going to be using this kibble on it to get the most levels, so All right, so our gas bag finished. Let's see what it got here. So just below 6,000 health, that's really good. That's really, really good uh, for a gas bag. Like I think most of the gas bags I've tamed have been like around four, 5,000, this 6,000 almost for this. And it looks like it has decent oxygen. So that is perfect, boys. If we can get an imprinted one, that will be awesome. Alright, so we're gonna head back to our base, put this gas bag away. This is how OP the Fjordhawk is, like, I can just instantly move anywhere around the map. Kinda nice, so we're gonna drop the gas bag off, and uh, we'll probably go tame a few more dinos um, right now. Alright boys, so I'm making a few more upgrades to the base. Uh, we added a few heavies, we started to craft some more of those, and I'm putting the turrets on elevator tracks. I haven't really done that before, but it seems like it's going to be a good option. Especially for like an up-down kind of entrance like this base has. It makes it a lot harder to raid because you can cover a lot of like weird different angles that you really wouldn't be able to with normal like tri uh, triangle foundations or something. So let's, uh... Come on. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna add like a few more turrets. There can't be too many in here, or else they'll get like line of sighted, but... It's looking pretty good. We're gonna get like maybe six or seven. Dude, these guys have so much ammo. Even this like capped saddle gas bag. These probably, these guys probably have like, I don't know, two, three thousand ammo in here. Okay. This is kind of hard for me to, if I didn't lose my freaking fed chest, this would be so easy, but I don't have it because it disappeared. So I have to like try to like get in this base another way. And it's like, has the little guard of the, uh, double doors right here so I can't like fit through it I don't want to like get on a structure either with the climbing picks because you will oh gosh oh gosh come on come on I can't even ride that I'm dead I'm freaking dead all right boys so I went over to gen 2 got a fed suit jumped in this water I don't know who this poor soul is he just died I like jumped down here to charge my fed suit and then I saw this guy. He must have just like jumped in here on accident on his mana and he just died. So I got a little, a few pieces of like primitive flak. Like, I don't know what's going on. 
sure this guy like just on accident ran out of stam or something fell in the water and died and then i was just like oh what is this so at least we got a few pieces of flak to let me go try to get in the base okay come on the turrets are underneath there's only turrets left or underneath so i just can't go down I'm just gotta stay up here i can't even fit through there all right come on can i go over there Come on. I'm kind of scared that there's more turrets I don't know about. Pin coded. Pin coded. Dude, who pin codes their mannequins? Come on, man. So I don't have anything on me. I came over here with just the fed suit. So I don't have any C4 or anything to get rid of uh, the generators. So I need to like just find some stuff. Okay, well, I got some grapples. Okay, at least I got my body, boys. All right, we're chilling. Um, come up here. There we go, thank you. Come on, I just need the C4. Thank you. All right, so let's get these, uh, let's get this gen down. Here, I'm gonna do it on this side because these mannequins are over here too. All right, easy boys, gen down. All right, so we got a bunch of soups and like a few other things just from the fridge. Everything else is pin coded though. That will make room for uh, the rest of the stuff. We, we uh... All right, so here's a bunch more metal. I'm not sure how much of this we can even carry. We got 1800, we're already black boxed, so. I don't know boys, we're running out of room here. I can't really take much more loot than I have. I have tons and tons of it now. I think we have like, I don't know, 4,000 turret ammo, and then almost like 2,000 shotgun ammo. Crazy, crazy amount here. So we might have to trade a few more of these for Somebody doing a vein right here? If someone is. Five of five. Oh, dude. This, oh, dude. No way I just found someone doing a vein on Arc Park. This guy's done. He's he's on like the last wave right now. Oh, I don't know, boys. Kind of feel like the only people that really do element veins are the cheaters. Uh, at least that's kind of what I've seen, but... I have my Fjord Hawk on, so I don't really care at this point. Like, if someone aimbots me, it's like, whatever. I'll just take my kit later on. So it doesn't really matter. So I guess we'll just... If I could catch this guy unsuspecting, then, uh... Boys, we'll hit a, a juicy... Juicy lick right here, dude. Like, come on. If I can get my hands on this element, that will be perfect. Because I was going to have to do an element vein later. But if I can just sneak some of this guy's, that'll be... Perfect. He's almost done with it, too. I think we'll just go down here. Maybe if he like goes to harvest it, maybe I can net him. I have nets on me and everything. Oh, this guy's cheating. He's cheating. Look at him. He's, uh, he's using speed hacks on his gig. I guarantee he sees me right now, too. The, the way this cheat works, I know it is, it just says, like, one enemy in the area, so it, he has ESP, he sees me, 100%, he's like, oh, uh, he might kill me. I gotta be careful here, dude. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get me out. Dude, I'm, oh gosh. That is so fast, dude. Almost died. I don't- I hope he wouldn't have killed my Fjordhawk. He might have, though, because he was so fast with biting, dude. Holy! Like, 10 HP, dude. Let's get- let's heal up. Dude, that was so much faster than I thought. That thing was ridiculous. I've seen those speed gigas. They're using, he's using hacks for that, if you didn't realize that. He definitely is 100%. But that is so fast. Like, I don't even know how he, like aimed it like that. I don't know. Like, he just moved so fast. 
I'm gonna go back though. I do have my Fjord Hawk. I don't think he has any weapons. Because he would have killed me. Alright, let's see. He hasn't harvested this for some reason. I'm not really sure why. He's just sitting there next to it. Ouch. Oh my gosh, freaking shotgun desync. Good guy, alright. I don't know, did this guy like crash or something? He's just sitting there next to the vein that's ready to be harvested. I'm just gonna harvest it. If he kills me, he kills me, because I have a Fjord Hawk, I don't care. He's, he's, he's there, he saw me pull out my harpoon gun. I'm just gonna harvest this dude, screw you. I'm, I, I get all this element, no matter what, even if he aimbots me right now, because I have a Fjord Hawk. We're getting a hella element, dude, look at all that. Oh boys, so we like to see. This is gonna last us like the whole season. Alright, we're almost done, dude. Is he just gonna sit there and watch me take his element vein? Alright, peace out. Is this guy like AFK? I don't understand. I'm gonna go back and try to kill him, because like, I don't know why he's just standing there. Netted him off. This is my only weapon to kill him, though, is my shotgun. It's long range. If I had a Fabi, I'd kill him faster. What's this guy doing? How is he doing that? He's he hasn't even cut the net yet. Look at look at this hack. Look at this hack, boy. Boys, like seriously. It's like an infinite tech punch. I I've seen this a lot before, actually, but it's like an infinite tech punch where you can literally just like aim where you're going. Whatever, dude. Thanks for the element, idiot. I'm leaving. That was juicy. We got like, I don't know, 700 element? Let's get out of here. Look at this. Look at this. He's following me with the, with the tech punch glitch. It's not even a glitch. It's a hack, but if you can see him, he's like... He's moving faster than me, and he's just using the tech punch. These cheats nowadays, dude, they're like unplayable against- They didn't used to be this bad. It used to just be like aimbot, and like, that was it. Now it's like they're insane and customized and everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna die. Oh, he netted me, dude. Peace out. Easy, thanks for the element. There's no way you kill my Fjord Hawk, it has like 5k HP. Let's get out of here. Spawn back in. Okay, so we got... Looks like a lot of Ellie, dude. What? This guy's been talking- has he been talking to me the whole time? I, I didn't even realize. I have my- I always have my chat hidden. Oh, he, did he think I was gonna give him some, for real? Why would I give you that after you- <laughs> You tried to kill me and using cheats, dude. He's like, give me 50. Alright, no, no, man. Okay, let's put all this away. All right, let me down. Found your base, you're done. Okay, dude. Alright, so we got hella element, boys. Like, I think that's enough. Um, I might want to make a replicator and start making, like, some tech items. Maybe, like, a tech generator. And then we definitely need rock drake saddles. That's kind of the a big thing I wanted to do this season was get rock drakes, tech rock drakes, to try to uh, use those to attack some of the, the bigger tribes on the cluster. So that's definitely on the, on the, the plans. But this one we should be... Clear to craft our replicator in peace. Someone left some hide blueprints in here. Okay. All right, boys. Replicator crafted. Okay, so we we crafted a few things already. I made like a tech gen. Uh, tech rock trick saddle, uh, some deadies, few other things. 
Let's see what else we need. I think we just need metal to make more. The grinder is really OP, guys, because uh, if you go over to like Gen 2 or you raid bases, you're going to get a lot of stuff you can't really use. Like, uh, I can't really use like the tech railgun or the shoulder cannon, other things like that, like or a minigun. So I just grind them up and you get tons and tons of resources out of them. So I really like uh, this method for getting resources, just grinding up kind of the OP loot you're going to get from Gen 2. I think that should be like enough for something else here. Alrighty boys, so let's hope that nobody raids my base in the next minute that I'm gonna be switching the generator out. So let's demo the generator. And Alright, so we got the tech gen down. Easy, easy boys. Got the tech gen going. Oh, it needs way more range. That should maybe like four. Yeah, that has everything. All right, so let's get the second cryo down. Perfect. All right, things are looking way better. We got our tech trough. We got the cryo fridges. Oh gosh, the cheaters are finishing drops out there. I got to be careful of that. Okay, so we just needed a few more materials for our tech items, and luckily. I have a bunch of these structures like this, uh, like these forges or um, what else do I have? I had a bunch of cookers, other things like that, that I'm never going to use. So I'm just going to demo all of these, get those juicy materials from them. Okay. All right. There we go. Demo that. And then we'll head over to our Quetzal. There it is. Yeah, and I guess if you guys were wondering, you can use a Fjordhawk on a Quetzal base, which is pretty cool. Makes life really easy, not having to like travel back and forth. Let's get... Oof. Too heavy. Alright, so we're going to do a couple of these tech rifles. Um, I know, I know everyone's going to be like, oh, you could just get tech rifles from missions and stuff but like it doesn't really matter i have tons of element here that i'm never going to use and i don't really want to go do missions so we'll just use these primitive ones until we can get better ones which i'm i've been missing tech rifles i'm happy to have them back all right boys so i think we're pretty much done on the element side so we got a good amount of element in here. That should almost last us for the whole season. I might try... I'm actually going to try to raid these guys like element base. It's in the... Oh, and here they are doing more drops. Um, they have a huge element base in the city center that I'm going to try to raid over like the next day or two. Because I really want to get rid of it. But we're going to keep placing some of these deadies. Keep the base looking clean and fresh. Yes, we can fit through here. All right, boys, so I think uh, we're looking great. Like, I, I'm really happy with the progress we made today. We uh, we got tons of element. We crafted a bunch of different uh, tech items. We raised some dinos, got the soakers ready. So we're, we're getting, like, finally ready to, uh, I don't know, just kind of chill for the rest of the season. And so the last thing is for uh, me to place down my tech pod. I have missed the tech pod, oh man. So I finally got a tech gen, I'm able to place this tech pod down and start stacking the levels up on my character. Okay. You can see this one looking at me, I'll get it here. You gotta be really careful around like textures like this, um, cause it's really easy to cheese turrets. Like, like this, exactly. So that's what we're looking for here. 
Uh oh. Don't. Oh. Rip my, my man the Pteranodon. This should soak pretty fast though. Okay, on to the next one. Actually, I think I can shoot this with my tech rifle so we don't have to soak uh, so many. Yeah, let's just make sure. Yeah, we got that. Okay, so we'll, we'll just shoot this down and then we'll move on to some of the other uh, tech turrets. Okay, so that is down and then there's... We're getting closer here to getting in this base. I'm not really sure what's going to be in here. Probably not much. I assume that these guys are just using this spot to turn element into element dust. Um, because this is like the triple terminal spot. Oh gosh. I think I can... Yeah, there we go. Easy. Easy, easy. Okay, so we might try to get one more. I don't know if I'll be able to get this one. Uh, I'm dead. Oh boys, that was close. I almost died. Okay, so that one's down. And then if we can... Actually, if we can just hit this, we'll be chilling. Okay, perfect. Exactly. Easy, boys. Alright, so we're pretty much in at this point. I've got all the turrets down on this far side, or this near side. Um, so I, can, I think I can just tech punch in there now. Okay, so we made it in. I'm gonna throw a sleeping bag down. Just in case I die. I should be fine, but I still have to make it this last little bit. So. Oof. There's still turrets up here. Let's just try to punch in here. Oh gosh. Alright, we're in, boys. Okay, that's nice and easy. A little 100 element there. Two pin coated vaults. And nothing really in the smithy, so let's just get rid of the beds first, and we'll hop on to the vaults. Okay, so those are down. I'm tempted to just leave the generator up, because I don't want someone to like come in here and third party me while I'm getting these vaults down. But at the same time, that's like kind of a bad idea, because if these guys get online, their turrets will still be powered. So I'm not... I think... I guess we'll just see here. We'll just start on the vaults, see where we get. Start munching on these. What we really want today is element dust. Okay, so we got the generator down. I just wanted to get that down. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Okay, so let's head back. See what we can do here. Throw in our tech chest. So luckily they didn't put the Desert Titan on aggressive. If they did, that would have made it so much harder to get in here. I probably would have just had to kill it before I started. Okay. Let's see what's in these vaults. Alright, both down. Come on. Uh, a bunch of... That's really all that's in here. A bunch of crystal. It's a yikes. This next one. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. There's some... We'll take all the blueprints. Those look like some of them are half decent. Uh, at least there's tech in there. So we'll take... Okay, canteen and a rifle. Some more Ellie. You know... Not I, not what I was hoping for, but, you know, I, I don't really know what I expected. It's not like this is their main base or anything. This is just a little element farming base. So, uh, can't complain too much. That's a good amount of blueprints. Looks like we've got some tech rifles and some tech uh, suit pieces there. Maybe some saddles. So, let's uh, get all this. Almost picked it all up here. A little bit on the top of the terminal here. Oops. All 
All right, boys, and that's pretty much, I think we're capped. We're gonna destroy all these turrets and stuff. But I need to get all this back to base. It doesn't look like there's any dust in this one. All right, so let's throw all these blueprints away. Looks like we got some decent blueprints. Okay, and there we go, all the dust away. Kind of chilling on dust now, 180 slots of LE dust. Let's head back to uh, go check it out. Actually, I don't know if I really want to go there. They might be back already. Let's go farther away than that. All right, boys, let's get these turrets down. Okay. Thanks for the shards. Okay, and I brought my uh, Tech Drake back again. I'm gonna just shoot down some of these turrets. Oh, what the hell? Oh, these, these guys are back. They've changed their thing to neutral. Are these, they here right now? I don't see them anywhere. And they're not riding it, but it's neutral now. It wasn't before. What is going on? I'm just going to get out of here, actually. I don't really want to lose this tech drake. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Speed giga. Speed giga. Oh, gosh. I almost died, dude. I'm so low on HP. These guys are back. Oh, and he's on the Titan now. They got a guy on the Titan, too. Let's get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. I know that guy has ESP, so he'll see us. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. No way, dude! How did he see me? I was so far away. I'm dead here, boys. This thing has, like, the infinite lightning is too much. I'm dead here, boys. And it's lighting me on fire. Oh, gosh. I'm dead here, boys. I might just need to ditch the Rock Drake and try to get away with my player. This thing's almost out of stam. I'm dead here. Come on, come on. Did I lose? I think I lost him. I think I lost him. He's too far away to see me in render range. Come on, dude. Come on. I'm just going to crowd this thing if I can before they see me. We got it, we got it. We got a Fjordhawk on too. Okay, let's get out of here, boys. Oh my gosh, dude. That was so sketch. These guys are so bad. So bad, dude. Imagine losing someone when you have ESP. Holy... Let's get out of here, boys. We will take our big profit and dip. We got tons of Ellie from that. And, uh... Bunch of blueprints, other stuff. Holy, boys. That was a straight yikes. Let's get out of here and get back to base. Holy, dude. Give me a heart attack when that Giga, like, started chomping me out of nowhere. I didn't see those guys at all. Jeez. Grab our stuff. Yeah, so they only have like a couple turrets up right now. Um, and they have a bunch of dinos up there. It looks like they're just building that base out. We haven't really gotten a lot of like PvP this season because like most of the people I've ran into have been like cheating. So these guys are legit it looks like. So we're gonna we're gonna try to fight them I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna just toss my stego up there, try to get like a distraction going. Okay. Oh, they're already shooting him. Whistle on aggressive, try to get him to smack around. Okay, so come on. Do some damage there. They have a generator in the back there, as you can see. 
But that heavy turret isn't even powered by it, I don't think. Gosh, I would just jump into this base, except this is what I get for not really looking for flak uh, BPs, this wipe. Um, so my flak is like 200, 300 dura, and it'll die, it'll get broken in like two shots, so. Kinda gotta be careful here with what, oh gosh. Ouch. With what I do. There's a lot of shadow mains up there too, which makes life pretty difficult. Alright, this guy just placed down this heavy. I think he's gonna turn it on in a second. Let's, let's get a C4 in there. Okay, so we got that heavy down at least. Boys, I'm tempted to just jump in there. My Stego's in the back getting manhandled by a bunch of Shadow Mains, but... It should last a while. We, it has a pretty good saddle. Okay, we're gonna go... Okay, there's a gen in the back here. And then in the back here. Oh, gosh. Jeez, dude, that shotgun hurts. That turret's still on it. It has batteries in it, I guess. Here. I'm just gonna strap this up. Then if I die, I'll come back and blow it up. Oh, shit. Ew, dude. I'm just gonna get out. Let's go, let's go. Bro, no way! I was already down! Oh my gosh. Dude, I was- I swear I was already down and I got shot. That's so unlucky. Alright boys, so it looks like we actually killed a- the Stego killed a bunch of their stuff. Um, we're gonna go re-kit and I'm gonna come back and try to fight these guys uh, again. Just kinda see what happens. Okay, so we're back. Um, there is, I think, there's three or four of them. I'm not really sure how many, but I know there was at least three. So we got a new kit. Didn't really bring much. I have like a, some C4 Stego flamethrower. Kind of like a basic kit. We're just going to hop up there, kind of see what we can do. Someone's moving around up there. Let's see. Uh, I think they're picking up. I think this guy has loot on him. I think that they're moving bit of uh, the base spot. I think I sh I should be able to. Like, catch this guy. I don't think the Shadow Man's gonna be faster than me. The May Wing will be, so I'm not even gonna bother with the May Wing. The Shadow Man might, uh, be catchable. There he is. Got him. This guy's gonna be mad. He's gonna be like, you, you're using a flamethrower. That's the only weapon I have, my man. Plus, I, I want my gear back, kind of. So, sorry. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he died. Okay. I hope this guy had my stuff. He has a good shotgun, man. No wonder he was blasting me before. There's this other guy. There was two guys on. This other guy's getting smacked around by Nameless, it sounds like. I'd probably just leave him and he would die, dude. He's getting completely smacked here. Tons of Nameless. There we go. Let's get all these Nameless off this cliff. See what my boy had. 
Oh, he had a Tektroff and a Maywing. That's still not my stuff, though. The other guy must have had... Or it's still at the base, had my stuff. Alright, let's see if we can even kill this Shadow Man, dude. I swear, these things are impossible to kill. It takes like 20 minutes, even for the tamed ones like this. Oh, I dropped the flak. Finally, dude, this guy was able to come back and get back on. Oh, but I, I did have some stuff in it. I got some poly, a cooker, a couple drills. Let's go to check the base now. I think that they're moving base, and I, and I wasn't able to catch the guy on the May Wing, so he might have had all the good stuff on him. But I guess we'll just go check to make sure. Yeah, they pretty much took everything. Dang, that's kind of a bummer, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I have a lot of stuff in my base already. So to lose like one kit isn't the worst thing. I think we're done over here on Aberration. I haven't really found a lot of other bases, so we'll probably head off. I'm gonna go scout some other maps, try to find some, uh, some more raids to do. Closing in on some more levels here. What is the, oh gosh, boys. Oh gosh. I didn't know what that was for a second. That's a guy on a bat. He's speed hacking. Oh gosh, are we dead here? This is why I have like kind of a- oh, I'm dead. Let me just... This is why I didn't come over to the center, dude. I've been like avoiding the center this whole wipe. Because the only people that I've seen on the center are these guys that are cheating. So I'm like trying hard not to play here, but I came here to kill the alphas. Because it's like the best spot, but... I'm hoping I can get away from this guy, but I don't think he's going to let me go. It's like nothing I can do, dude. This guy's about 10 times faster than I am. Luckily, I have a Fjord Hawk. I don't think he'll be able to kill it. So, I mean, I'm fully expecting... Oh, gosh. He's aimbotting now, I think. Or maybe he's just shooting me. Let's try to get out of here. The thing with these... Oh, my gosh, dude. That was, like, instantly. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna... I can, like, try to fight him if he'll, like... Just stay on his bat for a second. Oh, I almost got him. The thing is, with these guys' aimbot, is it's not good enough to hit off uh, the back of the bat, so they need to pick you first. Uh, come on, come on, come on. His pick is, like, insane. He has no cooldown on that pick, I feel it. I'm dead. Yeah, there we go. There's the dink dink to the head, boys. Rip. Alright, so we're gonna spawn in. He didn't kill my Fjordhawk. So, we didn't really lose too much. I have a bunch of bats, so no big deal about losing the bat. We'll just spawn over here somewhere random. Somehow my bat's still alive. I think that guy was just aimbotting me for my gear, and he, when he didn't get it, he just left. Because he left my bat. Which is kind of crazy, but yeah. Thanks, I guess, for leaving like, my bat. Alrighty boys, so we're gonna head over to Aberration. I was scouting on there earlier, and I noticed some guys built in the Glowtail Cave. And as you guys know, I always throw sleeping bags in some different caves as the wipe uh, starts to try to pull a fast one, and I think that's what we're gonna be able to do here. I didn't get a too good of a look at this guy's base, but I did see he blocked it off and had turrets, so we're gonna hope for the best here. So I got my sleeping bags named already, and I know where the Glowtail Cave is, so we'll just spawn in. And there we go, boys. I'm pretty stoked for this. It's like a lot of work to do this. You're going to have to put sleeping bags before somebody builds in it and stuff like that. So let's put another one down. Plus, I put them in this room that, like, I mean, some people know about it, but if you didn't, know specifically about it you wouldn't know where to look because it has it's like blocked off so that's why this is actually a pretty decent place to hide hide stuff okay so we mind our way out of the room i'm not really sure how far this guy's built in here he could have like stuff in the very back 
I didn't really get a chance to scout from the uh, far outside, but I'm betting it's it's more towards the entrance. Okay, boys. Let's go take a peek here. Oh, it's already stuff. So there's a couple uh, stone cliff platforms. I know these guys aren't in stone. They had like turrets and stuff at the crouch point. This might just be where, like where they're farming. Does he have anything in here for us? Bunch of stone. Nothing too much. Alright, so I'm thinking that the base is probably like in the crouch area. That's where most people are going to build like early on. So let's slowly head up there. I don't want to run into turrets here if he has some down below. So nothing too exciting in the tunnel so far. Okay, here's his base. So I brought rockets just for this. Oh gosh. Try to shoot the generator box here. I think they're all down. Thought it's kind of actually hard to raid this from the out from the outside because there's a crouch point right there. I don't have any turtles or anything, so I'm glad I was able to spawn in here. Hey, let's get these, uh... Okay, I don't see the guy anywhere. So in here, just a bunch of, uh, materials. Same thing in here, nothing too crazy. What, Indy Forge? That's big. That's a lot of resources we got there. Let's take all of this ammo. That is always nice. I'll always take free ammo. Let's see. This guy's got some Ravengers. Ugh, I don't know if this guy has too much. I thought that this base was bigger, honestly. Oh, dang, actually he has a tech bow. Which is pretty good. And then I'll always take these um, items that I can like grind like this are pretty uh, pretty useful. I'll just go back and grind them for like metal, polymer, things like that. Let's see. Oh dude, this guy has a bunch of stuff. This is all Gen 2 loot. That's This is like why. Everyone always says it, but like everybody nowadays has good stuff. Like, he's got a bunch of stuff he's been getting from those Gen 2 drops. He's right here. Got him once. Uh, the second arrow right in his dome, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna kill him with the flamethrower. Sorry, man. I don't have time for this. He is almost dead anyway. I domed him with that uh, arrow. Let's go look. Let's go see what's out here. I couldn't even see. There's like a big old gate in the front. We'll get rid of his sleeping bag. Just got a strider. Oh, here's the guy. I think this guy's a Ruski. Okay. Let's see. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna like let him pick up all his stuff. Um, we'll probably just leave with what we have. We actually got pretty good stuff. Like the tech bow. I've had a hard time finding those. So I'm really happy about the tech bow. I'm gonna keep my eye on this guy, dude. He's being sketch. Um, I'm just gonna crowd my stego and leave.
he can have all of his stuff back. Oh, hey. Yeah, was that was that cool, dude? He tried to. I I was actually gonna give him some stuff or something, and he like tries to get me from behind. It's like don't kill me, and then he tries to freaking uh pr electric prod me, knock me out, dude. Gosh, dude. So what you get. I was actually gonna probably hook this guy up with some stuff. Not anymore, my man. I'm killing everything. I'm a little salty that he tried to like prod me after he was like, oh no, like, don't attack me, it's all good. Yeah, I'm sorry, man, but this is what you get for trying to pull a fast one on me. I've actually been trying to be like nicer this wipe, I feel like. I've left a lot of people their dinos and I, I've been giving people loot. And I would have done the same thing to this guy. And like, I thought he had more stuff to be fair. I mean, maybe it is kind of a smaller base for me to raid, but I was pretty stoked to have like sleeping bags in the back of his uh, cave, which is why I went for it. So, uh. But yeah, I was gonna like leave him with all his stuff and maybe I would have brought him back some dinos or something. Let's see, I'm gonna go blow up the back now. No more base for you, my friend. Oh, he's pissed too, in the chat, he's mad. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, dude, I spawned right on top of this guy. I don't know if he really, uh... I don't know if this guy's cheating or not. Ah! I think this guy has ESP right here. Oh my, oh my hell, dude, it's the same guy! It's the same guy who's been killing me, like cheating the entire wipe. He's level 130 now, dude. Oh my gosh. I literally was just gonna get uh, a squid. I came over there with nothing but like a turtle. It doesn't really matter, I died. But screw this guy, dude. He's been cheating the entire wipe. I've, I've kind of had enough of this, dude. Alright, boys. So, we are gonna submit a ticket on this guy. I've, I'm pretty fed up with uh, this particular cheater. There's like a lot of cheaters on this, but this guy... We ran into him a bunch, plus, you can tell, like, I don't know. He's he's taken over Ragnarok. I've heard a lot of people talking about, like, all the cheating on Ragnarok. So we're going to send in a ticket to the devs. Get this guy dev wiped right quick. Oh, and here he is. Oh, he has a freaking Trank gun. He's going to try to go Trank me out. I actually don't really care, because this there's no way this guy has any idea how to cage people. So I'm not really too worried about it. I'm actually kind of tempted to let him knock me out so he'll take me to his base because I, I guarantee he's gonna get dev wiped in like the next little bit here I have so much proof against this guy it's like it's pretty uh pretty obvious ooh he got me alright this guy so he came back with his skiff We'll see what he does here. If he's smart, there's pretty much no way that he can cage me. It, like, I, I know how to get out of it. If he handcuffs me to a bed or something, it doesn't really matter. If you'd like look at what his chest is doing right now, that's like a, a cheat. Oh, he's so stupid, dude. He has no clue what he's doing. He just like drops me on top. It's not how that works, buddy. All right, so this guy left me alone. I think he had no clue what he was doing. So he just like left. So we're gonna um, submit this ticket. I've already been working on it while I was knocked out, and uh, we're gonna head back to base and get some get a rekit, and we'll come back. All right, boys. So I submitted the ticket, and it's already been answered. Actually, I got an email back pretty quickly from the devs saying, "Oh, we've looked into this, blah blah blah, whatever." So we are spawning back in on Ragnarok. I'm gonna go look at this guy's base just to. 
see if he actually got dev wiped. So let's uh, let's go see. Hopefully he did. He's been cheating constantly for the past few weeks. Yeah, so he had a base in the triple waterfall cave. It was pretty stacked. I, I came uh, by a couple days ago. It was super stacked. It had like a full vault dropped wall and it looks like he's dev wiped. I could already tell kind of that the rocks have like come back. Yeah, he's completely gone. I'll throw up like a clip if I have one of his base before. So you can see what it looked like. Yeah, I like I scouted this guy a couple times and his base was super thick inside. So I hope you're happy, man. Was that fun to get to get dev wiped and uh bye-bye to your level 132 character. So this is what happens when I actually take the time to report people. It just, it takes a lot of time. Alright boys, so I wanted to kind of show off the base. I feel like I haven't really showed it in a while now, like a week or so. So we're going to just quickly show you guys. There's not going to be any more changes to the base until the end of the wipe probably, unless something happens. So we got a Thyla just at the front. If people throw turtles in or something, they'll get uh, bled. We got a couple turtles just to be annoying if people try to like just get in there or whatever. So then we got a uh, I think we only have like yeah, nine turrets in here, but they're all pretty full. This one's capped out. That one has 5k. That one's pretty good. 3.5k, 3k, uh 3k. So, pretty freaking good on uh the turrets. It'd be pretty hard to soak this. The way to, to raid this base is just to cheese it, either with like tech grenades or with like a grapple glitch, but I don't think people really know how to do that on these servers as good. So a bunch of dust, 270 slots of dust, we got 1400 uh, shotgun ammo, some C4. This is my kit up mannequin, I just switched back and forth from... And here we just got, I think we have, that folder's empty for some reason. We got all our blueprints, we got some good BPs here, we got some shotgun... Uh, blueprints, bunch of tech BPs. Um, my flak is in the smithy, my flak BPs. But uh, yeah, pretty good all around. Just basic PvP gear. This is what I kind of like about playing solo is just like knowing where everything is and kind of keeping track of uh, all the gear that we have. We got a few dinos in here, nothing too crazy. This is the rest of them. We got our uh, our tech drakes, some blood stalkers, some may wings, some soakers few other things, our gas bag, we're gonna go raid within a second here. This is the other mannequin, we got all our flak, um, some more weapons, just kind of miscellaneous. This wipe, I'm kind of just chilling out, I'm not really being as organized when it comes to like crafting flak or gear, so that's why everything's not as uh, in place as it should be. Still stacked on the element, we got like 1700 element still, bunch of consumables, all the med brews and the uh, Soups and stuff, a little bit of ammo in there, not much, as you can see. The second floor is just resources and crafting. I like I said before, I love these types of bases where you're like really compact and you uh, you know where like everything is. So that's why I am uh, I'm pretty stoked with this base. We got a bunch of stone wood for uh, crafting spark and things like that. I think we're pretty much done with our little tour here. A lot of metal. I've actually got all this metal just from raiding. I haven't really use my forges very much. We got pearls and hide in the bulldog. The top floor, it was for breeding, but I'm not really breeding anything anymore. So I put a cooker up here. Um, and that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it boys for the little base store. Base is looking good. So this, uh, I found a couple of these bases up on these pillars. I've known these were here, but they're a little bit hard to raid actually. But we have a couple hours before that. Not maybe not an hour, maybe like one hour before the rock golem tame. So we have some time. So I thought we might as well take a, a swing here. I needed some water. The sandstorm is doing me dirty. But uh, I'll show you guys this base. It's actually pretty juicy. Probably has like 20, 30 turrets on it, which is a lot. But we should be able to raid it just because they've built it uh, pretty poorly. So first off, we need to take out the uh, windmill. That's probably powering some of the base, and so we don't want to leave that up. Oh, and there's a Megatherium who's angry. So let's take that out before we start. 
And these guys are online, actually. I know online raid crazy, but you know, if people aren't really aimbotting, I'll actually raid them online now because of how rare it is to find legit people. So I'm not really sure. They're around. I saw them flying around just a minute ago. So uh, we're going to clear this pillar and put a heavy turret down, try to give us a little bit of cover. So I'm going to show you right here, right now. You guys already know this. You need to be real careful building on pillars like this that you don't build too close to the edge. Right, that one didn't work, but I'll show you why. People could just see for your turrets. So you got to either have it like hanging over or like build it closer in. Throw this, uh, throw C4 up here. Like boom, there goes four or five turrets right there. Oh, nice, and our sandstorm finally stopped. That is what we like to see. So, these guys have a crazy amount of turrets, dude. Like, 20 or 30 turrets on this base. If they had set this up in a better way, it would be really hard to raid. But because they've, like, put it close to the edge, I can just blow up the whole base from down below. So, we pretty much got all the turrets on this one side. I think that one on the right might still need to go. Because it's like, uh, I think it'll still shoot. So let's try to get this one on the right before we head up here. Alright, there we go. So like this whole far side is clear of turrets. I can probably just fly up here now. I do have to be careful because my uh, my armor is really crappy. I didn't really bother getting good armor this, uh, this wipe. And so I have to be careful with uh, how many times I get shot. Alright, that actually worked way better than I thought it did. I didn't even get shot like a single time. It was all... My shield tanked for me. So let's pop in here. See what we can do. Okay. Oh gosh, that's actually... Okay, so I think... I got the... Uh... The outlet, the turret, the generators are still up, but I got the outlet off. Let's see what we get here, boys. Hey, Holy sh! Bro, what is that? Give me a freaking heart attack, man! That thing just like talks randomly. It's like that, that guy's wearing the HLNA skin. He just like talks randomly? Holy dude. Gosh. Yeah, I left all my stuff in my bat. We'll grab it really quick. Thank you for the stuff. Jeez, dude. The H. Lene skin. Give me cardiac arrest here. These guys have hella turrets, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop all of them. This, this is gonna be a big, big ammo farm. They even have tech turrets, but it looks like they didn't have a tech gen yet. I have a weird feeling that these guys are like connected to uh, the big boy cheaters. They got their big box box tribe. And if you've played ARK, you kind of like know that for some reason, these type of players like to make personal bases. It's just like a thing where like you'll have like the big main base on like a different map and then the the other players will be like I want my own base and so they'll all go make their own bases. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what these guys have inside. Um, but it's kind of weird. This base layout is kind of weird. I don't know. Okay, so all the turrets are down. That's some that's a big old ammo farm. This guy, dude. So that one's pin coded. Maybe the juice is in here. So we got some rockets, some few grenades. This one. Ooh, boy, is a lightning wyvern. Pretty high level too, dude. That's a that's a big find. Alright, boys, so here is the next base. It's pretty uh clear that these guys are either allies or they know each other, they're friends, something like that. 
bases are pretty similar. That guy is online as well, as you can see. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, kill these Rexes down here. Try to get this guy to come over. I think he might be taming something, or he's around somewhere close by, but we'll, uh... We'll gun down his Rexus really quick with my turret. Maybe try to get a little bit of PvP in here. Oh gosh, these things are unaggressive. I'm so heavy. I, I filled up the entire turret with ammo and I still have more ammo. So I gotta be careful. There we go. The turret's gonna take care of those Rexes for me. I wanted to blow up these turrets. I don't want uh, this guy to have a little pillbox down here, so... Gosh, dude, I have too much stuff on me. Let's get, I don't even need this ammo, honestly. Like, I got so much from that first base. I even have, I even hit a bunch of it, too. So let's just get, be able to move here. All right, there we go. So he does have ammo in these. I'm just going to blow these up. I don't want him to turn, come down here and turn this on. Let's go head up to his base and take a little look around. Alright, so this guy actually has a bit of a better base. His base is closer inside. And it has way more heavy turrets. So we're going to have to be more careful about this one. Um, I'm thinking I just tried to like inch in with C4. So there's a turret right here. And try to get this one first. Actually, I do not want to place this here. We're gonna go and do third person and place this instead. I don't want to get blown up on accident. Dang, I didn't even get that turret. All right, we're just gonna go for it, boys. Uh. I'm hoping I can just, like, C4 that auto turret, and then, yeah, I guess we'll just head in. Oh, gosh. I'm dead. Dang it, dude! That was so stupid. My legs just broke so fast. I was hoping I could get up to that turret before I died, but... Ah, dude. I didn't... Ah, that was just... That was bad. That was a bad play. We're gonna have to go back and re-kit and then, uh... Come back. Dang, that was stupid. Alright, boys. So, no sweat. We're gonna head back to the base. Get a little new kit for us and try again. That guy is online, but I'm not sure if he noticed... He's like around, I think he's like taming stuff. I've seen him like flying around the base, but I'm hoping he doesn't see my kit. I had a big old fat kit, as you could see. I had um, like a, a couple cryopods on me, a bunch of C4s, a tech rifle, a bunch of stuff. So I'm hoping this guy is like not really paying attention to try blog and doesn't see that I blew up a few uh, turrets at his base. So let's spawn in and try to get ourselves a kit together pretty quick so we can transfer back. All right, we're all chilling. All right, so we're just waiting for one more element to craft and we'll head up. Um, I didn't want to bring like a flyer, so I just brought a, another fed suit and some element. All right, there we go. Please don't have found my stuff, dude. I that was like a pretty fat kit to lose. Uh, is this him right here? I know he has a, his lightning wyvern. Is this him or is this wild? I think that's wild. Oh gosh. Yeah, he's online. He's at the base right now. He's right there. He's right there. He's looking at the vault. Oh, dude, he definitely picked up my kit. No, dude. Rip, boys. It doesn't... I mean, we're going to go in for it anyway. It's just kind of unfortunate because I don't really have anything uh, from my other kit now. 
I do have, I brought a stego, like a throwaway stego, and some C4 just to like, into myself into the base and kind of hope for the best. So like, that's what we're just going to do here. So, stego should last a, enough time. Here, actually, I need, I'm going to put this fed chest on instead of the black. Gosh, oh, dude, I'm getting smacked around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. Come on. Okay, we're in. One gen. Two gen. Oh, I gotta wait for the structures to dissipate before I can put more C4. Come on, come on, come on. I'm getting melted alive here, though, boys. That was so stupid to use the battle tartar. I can't heal now. Okay, so we got all the generators down. Cryo fridge is empty. I'm getting melted in here, boys. Where's this guy? Oh, he's on his wyvern. I'm gonna die here, boys. I got no health. Freaking dead, boys. I gotta be careful here. Nothing. He's got nothing I can use in here. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Come on, come on, come on. Put my gloves on. I just need to reset my health. And then I can go back over there. That guy's... All his generators are down, so I should be chilling if I can do this quick. Here, let me put a, I'll put a sleeping bag down and we'll just reset our health here. We'll just die and reset our health. Okay, perfect. So we'll spawn back in, get our kit, and we'll go back. Alright boys, so we're gonna head back. Uh, that guy ended up dying to my turret, and so I destroyed his beds. I didn't have enough C4 to blow up his vault though, so I had to come back. We got some more C4, and we'll head back right now. Okay, this guy's up there. I don't know how he got another mana. He like went and downloaded it or something. Got him. I don't think he has anything. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, dude, my, my boy's stacked on the med bruise. All right, let's uh, let's get this vault down quick. I so I blew up a little bit of it last time, but I didn't have enough C4 to finish it. So I had to go back to come on. I had to go back to my base to get more C4. So I'm hoping he didn't like popcorn everything, or he still has the stuff that I died with. That should be enough. Come on, first of all. Oh, okay, he has my blueprint. That's what I actually wanted the most, the rock golem blueprint. And then Oh, he does have all he has all my stuff, boys. We're we're chilling. He's got my Arthro, my bat, my uh, wyvern. Oh my gosh, dude. We are wiped, boys. And it's that N N B S S B, Dude, I'm telling you, I'm like 90% sure that is like a, a big cheating tribe from official. Those are the exact same guys that I ran to ran into on Asia servers. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, it's, the, it's that same cheating tribe, the three box tribe that we've been fighting the entire wipe. The guys with like the Desert Titan hacks and the aim botters, so not a huge surprise. I've been kind of harassing them for the past few weeks. We raided like two of their bases and killed their Desert Titans, so I'm not really that surprised that they finally got sick of it and decided to wipe me. I was offline for like 18 hours straight, so I can't really complain too much. I just didn't really want to play um, today. But I was like, oh, I might as well check on the base, and yeah, we are, uh, 
We're done, boys. And all my settings are screwed up, so the game looks terrible. I'm going to have to fix all of these. This UI scale is, like, massive. Let's tone all these down a little bit, and then we'll be uh, looking better. That's kind of a bummer, boys. I was hoping that our base would last a little bit longer. We're having, we're getting, uh, having some fun there. There we go. All right, boys, so I'm kind of deciding if I want to keep going. So we have nothing. Our whole base is wiped. We, don't, we have like the Quetzal, but it doesn't really have very much on it. Um, the last thing we do have is a, our, our really OP gas bag in our upload. So I might keep playing. Um, we do still have our like starter base on Aberration. I don't think that's been rated. So we might want to keep playing. I probably won't play the rest of the day though. The day though, to maybe tomorrow I'll get back on. This is kind of unfortunate. I mean, what can you do? Who knows if these guys rated us legit or not? They were like cheating the whole wipe. Oh, dude, dude. Literally, as I say that, this guy like comes up and punches me in the face, one shots me. Oh, like that's a pretty good representation of what our apocalypse is at this point. But uh, I don't know, boys. Do we want to keep playing? I'm not really sure. Oh gosh. All right, boys, so we got what we needed. We got uh, some charcoal, a few other things to head back to our base over on Aberration. Um, so the only things we really have, we have a gas bag in upload, which is like leftover from our previous base. So that's pretty good. So if we find a raid, we can do it, but we don't have any other gear really besides that, which, uh, you know, we're kind of just starting fresh here, honestly. So let's spawn into our base. I'll kind of show you what we have. It's not much. We have like a few foundations, a smithy and a fabricator. Like it's not even, I don't even know if I can call it a base. Um, so I took down all the turrets when we moved. So there's nothing really here. So you can kind of see we got a couple of uh, mannequins, generator, smithy, a fabricator, but like, yeah, nothing really here. There's like one or two turrets, normal turrets up, but we are pretty poor. I didn't really have any resources here. We got like some random stuff, um, as you can see, but it's okay. We're going to build this back over the next little bit and we'll be back on track, boys. I'm pretty stoked for this, actually. Okay, yeah, we are down bad. Chopping up this raptor for a little bit of oil. And then we need, um, we need some more electronics. So I'm going to go snag a few of these. Luckily, this fertile, this isn't the fertile lake, but uh, this lake kind of by the portal has a bunch of these pearls in it. So we'll snag a few of these pearls, get these electronics crafted up. I need a chem bench and then uh, we can kind of start to go look around for raids and maybe we can get some uh, some dinos pretty soon. All right, boys, so I found this spot. I think I've raided this spot like twice already, this wipe, but these guys keep rebuilding and I'm sorry for raiding you again, but I literally have nothing. Um, I made some, I was able to make some C4, but that's kind of all we have. So luckily they built this base kind of poorly. I can just see for the generator. It's on the front here. Oh, but it looks like they are, uh, I think some of their turrets have batteries in them because uh, those ones are still powered in the back there. So I did get my gas bag, my one gas bag out of upload. Let's maybe hop on this if we can. Oh, yo, dude, this, this Spino is unaggressive. Come on, come on, come on. Let me... No, oh, dude, he knocked me off. All right. Okay, everything fell off at least, but this shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we can fly back up there anyway. Okay, let's just fly up to the base. There's only a couple of turrets. We should be able to get rid of them pretty fast. Ooh, no, no, no. Okay, good. I was able to stay on the ledge. Alright, let's just blow this one up. It seems really full. It's taken forever to soak, so... Oh gosh, dude, and it has like four bullets left. 
Yeah, well, hmm, I guess we'll have to see. Do these guys have anything for us? Here's my boy. What we're gonna do, we're gonna drop him off the edge. This is what I do sometimes. Kind of sad, but then when the people wake up, they just like fall down. Let's get him off. Okay. Pin coated. It's a little bit of ammo. Quick, uh, quick turret ammo. That's pretty good. I don't really, I, I need turret ammo bad because we need turrets on our base. I have like two normal turrets and that's all that I have with like a hundred bullets each. So ammo is a pretty big profit at this point. Let's take this. Okay. Oh, rip, dude. They found my fjord hawk. Well, I couldn't even find that fjord hawk, so good luck for you guys for finding it. Okay. So we have some stuff in the grinder along with me going to I'm going to grind up these uh these other random items I got from the drops. Okay. So this should give us So we got some poly, some metal. So we'll take everything in there. So goodbye to the grinder, decent amount of metal. So at, with all these resources, we're going to try to build up our aberration base a little bit, get some more turrets going, build out the top floor into metal, things like that. Okay, and GG's to the replicator. I don't really see us needing this, the rest of the wipe, so we're just going to demo it. And it'll give us a lot of resources, so we will happily take... Um, the rest of these resources out and we'll demo this. This should give us like 2,500 metal, which is a lot. Goodbye to our replicator. All right, and there goes our Quetzal. Rip to our extinction base, boys, but yeah, we are returning to our home of aberration for the rest of this wipe. We did get a good amount of stuff here. You can see I got tons of resources from demoing those structures and grinding up some stuff. Pretty good. I, I, okay, I don't even know how I died, boys. I was AFK for like a couple of minutes. I died to somebody somehow. Oh, my Spino tamed though. I'm more worried about him killing my Spino that I was taming. I don't really have much on me. That's weird, dude. I, I, I was recording, so I'm gonna have to go back and see how I died. It's really weird because I... I was like, I like put myself in a weird spot that like... It's a little sus that I got found. Okay, so let's see. This is actually like just below my base. I was just had to leave for like a couple minutes. I was like, I'll just hide my body here. No one's gonna find it. Somebody found it. I mean, I can't tell for sure, but that guy, judging by his star star cheater name, like, uh, it's kind of obvious he was using ESP, but like, it doesn't really matter. I only had a fed suit on me, a couple of things. I was more worried about this Spino, so I was pretty stoked to get this Spino tamed. I want to head over to um, Genesis 2 and start missions. That's going to give our little base a big boost if we can get like some points, buy us some resources, maybe buy some loot crates. So the Spino is exactly what I needed. I, I found a high armor Spino saddle. Oh gosh, don't hit me, other oh, Spino. In a drop, and so this is perfect. Try to get out of here before this guy comes back if he's around. I don't want him to see us and kill me and take my Spino. Alright boys, we're just about finished with the drop here. My Spino took a little bit of a beating. I did level it quite a bit, which is why the health is so low. But, uh, this is pretty much how you do You can do this mission pretty easy, the Alpha Velanosaur stock, just with a tamed Spino. Um, you get the water uh, boost from being in like the water plus the knockback makes it so you don't really get hit that often by the creatures so This is like a pretty easy way to uh, do the mission Okay, perfect All right, so we got a bunch of points 
I'm kind of paranoid about somebody like sniping me off, so I'm gonna lead my Spino away a little ways before we check our loot. I don't think we got anything too great. I didn't see anything at least, but the points alone are pretty good. So we got a tech rifle. That's kind of big. Um, I don't have any, so that's our first one. But let's see now. Okay. All right, so we got a rock golem saddle. We don't need, we don't really need much of this stuff. The riot shield and the rifle I'll take though. All right, boys. Well, we're doing this again, but I don't know if this just happens to me, but I'm sure it happens to other people. The dinos in these missions get stuck like all the time. Like it's, it's super annoying. I don't really know how Wildcard wasn't able to fix this over like the year and a half that this map has been out. It's like the main map people go on and you can't even do the missions because the uh, the dinos get stuck all the time. So I'm going to try to just, I've like tried to get their aggro. Nothing's really worked, which is why this mission is taking me so long. Um, so I might try to like move around, try to get their attention. I don't know. Okay, finally, dude. That took forever. I like how to de-render them, and they finally came out. Um, so we got nothing, really. That was kind of a bust, but we did get the points. You can see, if there's like an event on right now, which is why we're getting so many points. Alrighty, boys. So we're back over on Ab. I found this little base. Nothing too special. Got some autos, and I threw out my trusty gas bag here. Should be a pretty easy raid. Um, it's over on the blue plateau. I'm not really expecting that much. It is like a metal-ish stone base, but they have a lot of turrets and I could really use uh, some some good raid loot right now. So we're gonna try and see what we can get. Let's see how good this gas bag is, dude. Like, this is pretty OP. It has 100% imprint with the cap 124 armor saddle. It's like it's not even getting touched, really by these turrets so these, these guys do have an indie forge which is like kind of a good sign so I'm hoping for maybe some tames if they got them or some PvP gear some C4 or some guns maybe oh these things are already out these are draining fast yeah my gas bag pretty much took no damage Okay, so we got one turret still shooting, but I'm not really too worried. The gas bag is really, really good. We're just going to leave it right here. Keep soaking. Let's pop in here, see what we can get. Let's just go right there. I don't really want to blow up everything. Oh, sorry for your... Iguanodon. Let's see. So gen off. It's got we got a uh, nothing really in the fridge. This one. I think these are all just are these are all flak. I don't really want these primitive flak. Where's the loot, boys? Yeah, there's nothing in here. Okay. Next one, this guy. I'll take a shotgun ammo. Thank you. Um, oh, oh, dude, mana. Pretty good mana, actually, too. That's perfect. Okay, and we got a wyvern. That's actually exactly what we're looking for. I don't have any scouting dinos. I don't have any dinos at all besides the gas bag. Um, so that's pretty good. The mana will help us to try to go scout some new maps, try to find some raids. Um, looks like these guys are kind of just starting out. They are some big box box tribe, so no more turrets. You can see it's not six times damage. Like it's so weird, dude. It's so weird. It's gonna take me tons of rockets to blow up everything. Okay, I just wanted to get these turrets down. I don't want these guys to come on, fill their turrets up. You can see how many like different generators they have. This is another little tower. Let's drop this as well. Okay, perfect. 
And I need to move my heavy turret closer so it can cover me. Alright boys, let's head into this base. Looks like a lot of the dinos are unaggressive, which isn't a great sign. Kind of makes it much harder. Oof. Okay. Let me just get myself settled here. Alright, ready. Okay, so there's... Looks like there's some internal turrets that generator right there. Let's try to get above it. Oh gosh. Okay, so I can just shoot the generator right here. There we go. Oh no, dude, get out get out of here. Let me try to get it get away from these guys. I swear, dude, I'm not going to I'm stuck, dude. I'm not going to die to some freaking Pteranodons, get off me. Okay, I'm just gonna freaking comp you in the head then. Get off. There we go, dude. They took half my health just for that. This base is kinda. I don't like bases like this. It's hard to see in here because there's like trees everywhere and stuff. I can't really. It's hard for me to like see. I'm not really familiar with this base spot. So I like, I don't really know where everything is. Hop down to the second level here. Oh, well that's good. Some med brews, dude, that's what I need. That's some med brews, a bunch of soups. Looks like this stag goes on aggressive, which, bro, that just makes my life so much harder because, uh, and this Thyla looks pissed, dude. Things gonna be an absolute tank to take out. Right, so I don't really see anything in these first couple boxes. Not a surprise. So let's just drop these turrets. Get me through. So let's take out this bed. Let's see if these fridges have anything. I imagine this is babies right here, yeah? Yeah, those are babies. What's in this one? Ooh, okay. Okay, so we got some dinos. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have to kill all of these. These Thylas, the Stego. It's just gonna knock me around the whole time. I don't really have any good DPS dinos is the, is the problem, though. Okay. I got rid of that Indie Forge. I just couldn't really work around it. I need to kill these Thylas. They're making my life hard. Okay, so one netted. It's another one. Get off, dude. Get off me. I swear, dude. Aggressive dinos are like the hardest part of attacking a base. Especially if I don't have like a Giga or something to take care of them. Okay, that vault finally went down. There's only like one pin coded vault, the rest were unpin coded. So let's see. Yikes. Yikes, boys, where's all the loot? I got some dinos, I got like a few wyverns, a snow owl, and some May wings, but like. Okay, so I or I don't even know what to do in this base, dude. There's like there's not any loot. There's like a few things here and there. Like you can see, these guys have a bunch of like Genesis weapons, but like I don't really care about any of those. It's it's weird. I don't know. Like some people just play the game for like PVE, so maybe that's who these guys are. But I got a few dinos out of it, which is kind of profit. But for the amount of effort I put into this raid, this is kind of a disappointment, honestly. Alright, so I think, like, that should be one of the last turrets on this side. That Rex is pissed off inside, so I gotta be careful of that. It's definitely on neutral. Alright, boys, I think we're pretty much in. So, because this base is, like, on a corner, that whole left side isn't really soaked yet. So, I gotta, I gotta stick to this right side um, and be careful here. Oof. 
You know, just see what happens when I peek that. I don't really want to soak those. So I think what we're going to end up doing is just flying into the base right here and trying to make it work. Okay, come on. Oh, oh gosh, I almost got bear trapped. Come on. Let me in. All right. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. So just like this one turret. Okay, boys, so we're pretty much in. I I don't have any grapples on me and I can't go back. I don't want to die. The gas bag is kind of stuck. Um, so I, we're just going to have to try to like get in there. Which is unlucky because all this stuff is unaggressive. So I got to be really careful to not, or I mean neutral. So I got to be really careful to not punch anything or I'll just get killed instantly in there. Um, but what we're gonna have to do is pull out the tech gloves and punch inside the base just to kind of lift ourselves over this wall Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know about this boys, but we're gonna have to try our best. Let's throw this uh, Tech glove on and give it a go. Oh My gosh, I hit the shadow main Come on, come on, come on. Let me do the Oh, no, 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 no. There's an angry Megalosaurus. Oh, gosh. I think we're ripped here, boys. Let me look around. I don't even know where the generator is. Can't really tell. But we are surrounded by angry dinos, as you can see. I'm not really sure what to do here. I think we'll just put a C4 down and try to blow up this uh, this ceiling. I might blow myself up though. Yeah, and I insta died. Not not really much I could do there. Dang it, dude! I might have to go back to base now and rekit because that might not work. Dude, no way! Is it actually all down? Dude, it's all down. It actually is all down. Okay. Let's get in there, boys. Get these grapples. I should have taken those grapples with me, but I didn't uh, the first time. So let's head in there, see what we can get. Come on, come on. Somehow I hit the generator with that C4 that I put down before I died. Let's see. So many turrets on this base. So I think everything's on neutral, not aggressive. So I just got to be careful I don't punch anything or like shoot a rocket or everything will hunt me down here. Oh yeah. Oh, I totally forgot. This is six times damage. So that one C4 did a lot. The generator must have been like around here because it blew up a bunch. Um, I'll actually take all this flak because I don't have any armor on me right now, so thank you. Throw a couple pieces of armor on. Even if it's prim flak, I guess. So they have an unpainted coated vault with a ton of gear. Oh, and the juicy BPs. Look at all those BPs. Thank you. I'll take those and look at them in a second. So we need to get that cryo fridge down and I don't have any C4 because I just died with all my C4 to that Meglo, which I will have to kill eventually. So let's see, boys, can we find some kind of explosives or something? They're all in pincoded. That's kind of crazy. Left all their vaults in pincoded. Um, okay, we got some dinos. That's always good news. So I'll take all of those. Thank you. Um... Can't use any of these shoulder cannons, they're kind of useless to me. Some dust, some turrets, a bunch of tech items. Oh, C4, C4, okay. Okay, oh. let's stand clear of the angry dinos and let's see. Where is the cryo fridge? Is 
there no cryo fridge bag? I don't see any. Dude, this guy, this guy, this guy right here has all the dinos on him. Okay, thank you for... That's tons of stuff, dude. The tons of stegos, shadow mains. Let's see, this guy's got tons of stuff. This is kind of a stacked base. Definitely the richest base I have uh, rated this entire wipe. Alright boys, so we're gonna finish off the rest of this base. I just wanna drop all these turrets. Try to get a little bit of ammo out of the base as well. Okay. So, rip to the rest of that base. You can see these structures just need to fall to the ground. Looks like I actually soaked most of the ammo. On this left side, I think there'll be some, um, but the right side, we're not really so lucky. Alrighty, boys, so we're gonna move this turret closer. I need to start killing these dinos, unfortunately. I'm sorry, the guys whose base this is, but my kit got collected by that Megalo, so I'm, I need it back. I don't have any sort of like DPS dinos, so what we're gonna do is just use the uh, this heavy turret to try to take down a few of these dinos. Let's see if we can scrounge up some ammo from these bags. Oh, that one's empty. I don't have any more C4 really. So okay, this one has some ammo. That's perfect. Okay, that should be fine. I don't really think we'll use more than this. Let's just pick up the rest of these just to see if we missed any turret ammo. I don't really think we did. Okay, there is some more ammo. Let's put this on Thames. There we go. Kind of see what we can get here. There's a bunch of dinos over here. I don't want to get gunned down, I'm sure that... Okay, we got an Astro that took like two shots to die. It's not what I needed. What's going on here? Okay, we got a bat. Ugh. Ouch. Getting gunned down. Getting gunned down by the bat, dude. Broke my legs. See what else. So I, th I th actually think this uh, this Rex got bear trapped. Bro, everything's getting bear trapped. I think my gas bag just got bear trapped. All right, boys, finally killed the. Uh, the Megalo that had my kit from earlier in it. Okay. So let's grab my kit. Die to that Megalo. You can see all there's all my stuff back. Thank you. I need the right shield, the flak, as well as my C4 back. Thank you, Mr. Megalo. Alrighty, boys. So we're just about wrapping things up here. Uh, this base, crazy stacked. I'm just dropping some of the bad blueprints. I don't really need some of them. Um, I'm not going to make this stuff ever. Um, and we need to fit all of the gear that I got. So I think um, we're pretty much good here to grab all this element dust. So a bit of dust there, pretty good. Let's drop the rest of this. Alright, and we are totally capped on gear this is all we can take we might come back for a second trip um, I need to head out of here I don't want to die with all of this gear on me so we're going to head off to a terminal try to transfer out all right I'm just praying and hoping I do not die some lucky guy like sees me transferring out and kills me gets all this juicy loot 
So I thought that the best place to be would be um, the snow biome. We are going to be using a little trick of mine to get off of this map. As you know, Genesis 1, you can't use the tech chest, but what you can use are the tech gloves. So you can kind of do this little trick where you constantly punch and it kind of works. Um, so we're just going to head over to this terminal. It's on the top of that mountain there. And uh, hopefully we'll make it there and transfer off all this loot to our aberration base. Okay, so we're almost there, boys. Just a little bit more. This is so sketch, dude. So much loot on me. This would be a major L if I died, but I think we're good. Okay, so we are going to put all of our armor back. We're going to transfer back here um, and be sure to get the rest of the loot. But I have all of the major good stuff on me. Bunch of element dust, bunch of dinos, and other good tech gear. Let's head over to Ab, transfer, and put this stuff away. Alrighty boys, made it back to base, and we're ba our base is chilling, we're doing fine here. Let us start to put all this good stuff away. So you can see what we got, tons and tons of gear. Probably more gear than some people get in an entire wipe on Arc Poc. Um, probably like a whole fridge of dinos, maybe like a hundred slots of dust, lots and lots of good stuff. Let's grab us an element to be able to move this around, and then we will... Be ready to go here. Oh, there's somebody built in here. I see pillars. Oh, it's these guys. I've seen these guys stuff all around the server. I was wondering. Oh man, and I think there there's a bunch of heavies right there. These guys are friends with the uh, the box box cheaters, dude. I know who they are. I've seen them around. All right, boys, so I think, I think the, I'm gonna go around the back way. Uh, there's actually two entrances to, the, to these other rooms. There's this front way, and that one looks pretty guarded. There's a lot of heavy turrets on that front side, but we're gonna go to the back and see if it's just as defended. A lot of people don't really know about this, so maybe I can get lucky, and it's not, uh, there's not as many turrets on it. So you just have to like go right up through here, and this is the uh, other entrance. You gotta wait for my uh, crowd timer to go down, then we'll head up. Okay, so you just come right up through here. Kind of a weird uh, place. Let's get rid of these snakes. So I need my shadow main out. Alright, let's try to make it through here. There's so many, like, bugs and dinos in here. Can I fit through here? No. Alright, come on. Move. This cave... This cave is hard to, uh... Hard to move through if you don't have, like, good dinos. There's so many snakes, arthropleras, seekers. Come on, get out of my way. There's even a red drop. Oh, and it disappears as soon as I got here. Alright, so let's check this out, my boys. We're gonna head down here on the shadow main. Let's see. Come on, let me through. I'm stuck. Oh, there's a shadow main in here. I didn't even see that thing. So these guys probably know about the second entrance if they have a shadow main all the way over here. Which is kind of bad news, but... Gotta try to get around this crab. It's in the way. Move! Come on, let me through. Alright, perfect. Oh, there's another shadow main. These guys must have a lot. They're just tossing them in the water trenches here. But they're not unaggressive, so I'm not really sure of the point of them. Okay, here we are. Let's not peek this too fast. 
I don't want to get beamed. No way. No way. But boys, there's no there's no turrets on this backside. I don't think these guys knew that you can come in the back way. And they're juicy in here, dude. They got a transmitter, they got a replicator, some tech pods, some dinos, tons of turrets on that far side. I'm glad I didn't try to like soak that. Oh, that's that's unfortunate for my friends here. These guys are like online too, or like recently. I saw them talking chat not very long ago. So they might just be like around the server. Let's see. I think that these guys have some some loot in here, boys. Got to be careful here. I don't get beamed by the turrets. Let's try to like sneak behind this forge. See what happens. All right, I think this might just be like a personal base. It's a personally personal owner, you can see. So maybe this is just some guy's like personal base. Let's blow up this generator. All right, I think that's it. There's two generators, got a both with the C4. Let's see. Ooh, my boy's stacked on the Ellie. Thank you, good sir. Let's see. I still don't have med brews. Unlucky. So. A lot of turrets, a lot of turrets. It's built terribly. Look at that build. Ugh. Disgusting. Let's get all these turrets out of the way ASAP. Goodbye. All right, so let's take a look around, see what we got here. Replicator, a um, lot of resources, nothing I really see. Oh, there's a tech suit, crafted tech suit. I mean, prim tech suit, but still crafted, not fed. Thanks for the tech canteen. Let's see what else my boy has for us. So we got a couple vaults. See, we got any dinos in these fridges over here? So I still don't have the transmitter engram, so we can't open that. But let's, yeah, everything's kind of empty. Uh, the smithy has nothing really. It might have just all be in the vaults though. So I'm not gonna. Ooh, a cryo fridge. I don't even know. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we got a fjord hawk. That's sweet, actually. I needed one of those. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, we got three vaults here. Let's just slap down three C4. So we got a bunch of Rexes, uh, some Stegos. Let's see what's in the vault. Where's the juice? Show me the juice, boys. Um... Nothing really in here. There's some blueprints. I'm not really crazy about any of these. Looks like most of them are Genesis 2 stuff, though. The chests are actually okay. I'll take the armor. Um, take a few of those. Those are decent Dura. The rest of the stuff, kind of whatever. This next one, some C4, and artifacts and cannonballs, so... Yeah, that didn't really have too much in it. The dinos alone were, were definitely profit. I mean, I didn't really spend anything on this raid, so. Okay, so there goes the transmitter and the other vaults. Where's the bag? Here's the bag and nothing in it. The vaults had a couple heavies, some ammo, nothing too crazy. A lot of gunpowder. So what I need is a, I need a tech sleeping pod. Looks like we're gonna need um, some polymer and some fiber for that. 
All right, boys, so we're taking our first trip back to the base. Uh, I wanted to make a tech sleeping pod. I don't have any, and you know we need one. You can see, um, we'll put all the dinos, our dinos away, uh, the ammo and the other stuff we got. This vault right here kind of stacked. You can see the double force fields, the tech bows, the transmitter, the generator. I've just been uh, doing, going crazy on the raids lately, so this vault is stacking up all the loot. It's a little teleporter here, it looks like. Oh, these are the big boy, big boy cheaters over here. So, I, 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 they had like a way bigger TP. It looks like somebody probably raided it and they just rebuilt a smaller one. Let's see what we can do here. This it looks like there's only a couple turrets on this. Let's sneak up on it. I could really use some elements, so I'm happy to destroy this generator. And yeah, I can like walk right up to it pretty much. Oh, turret's looking at me. Should be fine though. I think these guys have a base maybe in the ice cave and the pearl cave. Maybe maybe not the pearl cave, but uh, the ice cave for sure. So I think we're going to go check that out after we get this. Some more element from this generator would be great. We got a little bit. That's what we like to see here. Let's get these beds. All right, boys, so we're gonna head down into the ice cave. Ooh, I don't like going in here, cause, I don't know, you kinda never know what's gonna be built, but we're gonna try. Okay, I probably should, I have my shadow main, which is kind of a good thing. So let's, hopefully I don't get beamed. There's not like turrets right here. You never really see in this water. All right, looks like we're okay. These guys were here just a few minutes ago, so I gotta be careful. Toss out my shadow main and we'll get cooking here. I at least want to see what their uh, their turrets look like, see if we can do any sort of damage. As you can all probably guess, I am not an expert at reading this uh, this ice cave. I've, I've probably rated this maybe like once or twice my entire time playing Ark. Really hard base spot to raid. So let's see. Okay, so we got a vacuum there, some more turrets on the ground. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let me get some oxy and then we'll take a look. So I think I can actually hit this. Yeah, so I can actually hit the uh, water, the uh, vacuum compartment, which has the, has the generator in it and the parasaur, so. What is it? Yo, yo, yo. Run. No, 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 no. Go run away. Run away, my man. Okay. Dude, why are you still here? I told you to go away. All right, boys, so we dropped the vacuum compartment. The Parasaur is drowned, but there's really nothing I can do about this. There's like, I don't know, 50 turrets on the ground and everything. I don't, I do not have the stuff to, to raid this, and it's not like I'm gonna farm it up, seeing as there's just a few days left in the wipe, but we did a little bit of damage. Maybe I'll actually just C4, I have a bunch of C4 left. I'll just C4 a bunch of these guys' structures just so they have a little panic attack. Oh no, we're getting raided when they, uh, when they log on. I destroyed a couple of the vacuum cubes, but yeah, I'm not gonna put the time into like try to continue on this base when uh, there's just like a few days left in the wipe. I think we're gonna head over to maybe Island now. That's kind of the last map I haven't been to uh, yet.
what there's a mech in here there's a mech with nothing else it's kind of weird okay so there's a guy's little box and a transmitter and a mech weird combination so brought a couple element over let's just uh shoot down this transmitter see if there's anything inside Um, we got, uh, some shards. I guess I'll take those if I want to use my tech bow. Um, I got another tech rifle. I guess I'll take it. Nothing really too crazy. Hey, hey, I know this guy, 5534. This guy imprinted the Fjordhawk I have right here. Look. He raised the Fjordhawk. Well, sorry for stealing your dino at some point, man, but, uh, appreciate the, uh, the bird you delivered me. I'm trying to find the... Wait, what's this? What is going on here? This guy in a golem? I think they just raided this, this base. There's another guy. He's as a he's a wyvern with a bone skin on. Let's 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 try to take him with some surprise here. I'm gonna try to net him off the top. Oh, this guy's aimbotting, he's aimbotting. There goes my helmet, dude. Come on, come on, there's half my health right there. Ah, I don't have any med brews, I just have blood packs. Oh gosh, I need to get off, I need to get off. Whistles this thing neutral for when he kills me. Jeez, dude. Getting beamed here, I think I'm dead here, boys. I do have a Fjordhawk, though. He's up there. He's using a fab pistol. No wonder I'm not dead yet. I can like hear the, what is he? He has an RPG? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my gosh, dude, rockets. No, 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 I don't have any health here. Come on, come on. Bro. Oh my. I, they're not gonna kill my fjord hawk, so it doesn't matter that much, but that dude just blew himself up and me He must I don't know why he stopped aimbotting me. He maybe he ran out of ammo or something because he pulled out the rockets Where's the closest spawn? I think it's this one Try to see if I can save my giga no, 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 no. There's a guy right here, dude. Let me get in the bag. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That guy had a club in his hand. Let's go, boys. Oh, my. I thought he was going to walk up to me and steal my kit, dude. Some bob on the beach takes all on my juicy kit, dude. All right, let's... I'm trying to see. I think the base is, like, right just this way. It's pretty close by. I'm going to try to get back there before these guys kill my Giga. Okay, here it is. This guy's still on the golem. Box, 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 box. Hey, buddy. Bye bye. You have fun? This is a fun gameplay experience for you, level 57. These gates are making it so my <laughs> my Giga can't come in. Come on, come on, come on. This way. Go, 
Go get him. Perfect. These guys raided these poor... This poor base, dude. Let's see if we can find anything. This guy... Killed someone with a rocket launcher on him. Where's that? Wait, so this is mine. This is the aimbotters. Yeah, he has a he has a fab pistol. He's aimbotting with a fab pistol. No wonder he didn't kill me, dude. Here's a tip: if you're gonna use aimbot, do not use a fabricated pistol. It is useless. Use uh, something else. That's kind of embarrassing, though. Imagine using aimbot and still dying. Unlucky. Here's this other guy's kit. He just has like a bunch of garbage. Yeah, I don't really think these guys are going to have anything I would even want anyway. I do want... Yeah, this rock golem saddle is pretty freaking good. Um, but that's pretty much it, I think. Come on, Giga. This guy running around? I'm gonna kill him then. Who? Which one is this? Oh, that's the that's the dirty aimbotter. You dirty boy. That's what you get. Come on, dude, get out of there. This thing has issues following me. Come on. Let's see. Dude. Ooh. I feel like it's actually not that hard to deal with, like, aimbot. Um, but the speed hacks are what make life really hard to uh, to deal with. Let's get it and have anything. Alright, I think we're going to dip out of here. I don't want these guys to come back and kill me. I want to keep... Uh, I want to hold on to this Giga for a while. We did get uh, a few things, the Rock Golem Saddle. Um, nothing really, though. But yeah, we're going to head out of here. I don't want to get... I don't want these guys coming back and spinning my helmet off.